So Shazam is coming out in theaters in two weeks. I got to see an early screening. And for those of you who don't know, it's a DC comic book film. I know, surprise, surprise, it's not a Marvel film. But Shazam follows the story of a 14-year-old foster boy who all of a sudden gets the powers of Shazam. And essentially, he has all the abilities of Superman, except it's via magic. And he faces a lot of his personal problems with you know him being a foster and him wanting to fit in, as well as the type of thing he's facing off against the villain, played by Mark Strong, who I like Mark Strong, personally, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, I liked his work in Robin Hood, Sherlock Holmes. I like him, you know, and I was glad to see that he was going to be in this film. And it's directed by David F. Sandberg, which, for those who don't know, he directed Annabelle Creation and Lights Out. Very odd choice, I know, but, you know, James Wan directed Aquaman, and that turned out to be a solid film. So, how does Shazam hold up? Actually, uh, I'm not going to lie. I actually very much so enjoyed this film. And I am surprised. I know a lot of my viewers out there are probably also surprised. Because I, I critique the superhero genre so much. And I think what makes this so special is the fact that everyone seems to be having a good time. And not at the expense of drama. Because there are some actual good dramatic moments. And it follows comedy, drama, comedy, drama very well. Like, there are a lot of times in comedies where the first two thirds are very funny and then the final act gets all super serious. And this film doesn't do that. It really doesn't. I mean, it's serious and then it's funny. And then it has that, what I like to call the friends cliche, where it's you're not my friend anymore cliche. They do it about almost halfway, not quite. And I liked it because it was refreshing. I'm like, holy cow, this is what normally would be in the final act and this, this, this would happen. So it was refreshing. And also the characters do smart decisions, which I was also kind of surprised in a superhero movie. And I think that it actually worked that David F. Sandberg directed this film because there were some jump moments, not jump scares, but there were some jump moments that I found effective. And also, he did a great job with the cinematography in Lights Out and Annabelle Creation, I think personally. And he does that just as well in Shazam. In fact, I loved the color palette in this film. And that's something I also criticize in so many superhero films, specifically Marvel, that they're so bland and they're, they're not well color graded at all. But this film actually had good color grading. I thought it worked really well to the film's advantage. The visual effects were mostly good. I'll get to that in the negatives. And there's just, again, a sense of enjoyment to be had because it's both critiquing this genre because the main character played by, well, not the main character, but the main friend, I should say, played by Jack Dylan Grazer, who's played Freddy in the film. He's like a huge fan of superhero movies and he's always throwing out all these cliches now. Oh, you don't want to do this or you don't want to do this or, oh, that's this moment. And there's always a moment of subverting expectations. Now, there are a couple things that, yes, they do give in to cliches, but it's at the expense of more powerful dramatic moments that actually worked. Like, I actually thought the orphanage aspect of this film worked. And I'm not going to go too much into spoilers. Actually, I'm not going to get into it at all, because again, I want you guys to go into it with little to no expectations, because that's what I did. I went into it with no expectations. And why I love these early screenings is because my thoughts, they're my own. I, I don't know what anyone else is thinking because, again, it's an early screening and it's my own thoughts. And that's what I'm saying. Like, who knows? Maybe other people are saying the complete opposite. But for me personally, I think this was a funny film. I think the dramatic moments worked. I thought the acting was, for the most part, really good. And, you know, I also just have to say that I think that this is definitely a step forward. I think Aquaman was solid fun, but I think this was actually more fun than that. And I am saying that as someone that did enjoy Batman v Superman, the director's cut, and Man of Steel for the most part. So I'm just saying that you can have those serious films and enjoy those. And you can also enjoy those super fun films that are just trying to be a good time at the movies. And I think Shazam is one of those movies. As far as negatives go, here's my problem. I think I did like the villain. I thought that his character development was really well done. Except that halfway through the film... There's stuff that happens that he does that it kind of throws away the rest of his character. And, I, and when I say that, I mean, through the rest of the movie, you're just kind of wondering why he's doing villainous things other than, okay, maybe you could say he's being controlled by demons, but at the same time, he seemed to have control of it for the most part in the first half. So for me, I'm like, 
well, he just seems to be acting like a villain for the sake of the film propelling, you know, a certain plot device forward other than actually being a strong villain. And it, it kind of stinks because, again, I think in the first half they do a great job of developing him as a villain. But besides that, I do think that there are also some visual effects that don't quite work. Uh, specifically, there are like gargoyle type creatures that, you know, are very fantasy esque, which is, you know, kind of what this film is. But I think it might just be my personal bias because I feel like so oftentimes fantasy films don't do a good job with creatures. And the ones that do, such as like Pan's Labyrinth, it's usually practical effects. And you can tell in Shazam that they weren't. And that's why for me personally, they didn't work. That being said, with those negatives aside and with some cliches that they did kind of fall into, I think that this is a fresh superhero film. I think this is a superhero film that for this year so far, we kind of needed. Yes, I did enjoy Glass, and I think that it did subvert expectations for me personally. But I think Shazam on its own, I think it's an enjoyable film because it's not setting up future films. It's a standalone film that I think will appreciate many superhero fans alike. So guys, Shazam for me personally... I'll be giving it a 4.25 to 5 star rating, which, for those that don't know, it's the gold Louisiana Crystal Hot Pure Sauce. So and that's, for those that don't know, that's actually kind of a surprise, because superhero movies, I'm trying to think recently, the last couple of years, I would say that Glass and Spider-Man and Spider-Man are probably the only superhero movies where I actually gave it like a 4 out of 5 or more, so... You're welcome, guys. Guys, Shazam, when you do see, or if you already have, if you managed to catch AMC, well, Fandango's early screen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. All. Did, was this an enjoyable film that you thought it was going to be? Did it subvert expectations? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And as always, the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.